Hey, I'm Jerry, and today I'm gonna to show you how to speed up writing to USB drives with iPad or iPhone. If you have used a USB drive with an iPad or iPhone, then you probably have seen extremely slow copy speeds. Copying from a USB drive to an iDevice is not terrible, but copying from your device to a USB drive is, and the issue is the format of the drive. Most USB drives that you purchase are formatted by default as FAT32 or XFAT. These formats are great for interoperability because most computers, phones, and tablets can read and write to them. But for some reason, iOS cannot write to them at an acceptable speed. Let me show you. I have this cheap 64 gigabyte USB 3 thumb drive, and it currently is formatted in XFAT. When I copy this 524 megabyte file from the drive to the iPad, it takes seven seconds. Let's copy that same file back to the thumb drive and let's see what happens. Wow, that took one minute and 48 seconds. That's almost unusable for large files. It took me hours to copy a 20 gigabyte 4K video file from my iPhone to this thumb drive. So to fix this, you need to format the drive in Apple's own APFS file system, which should speed up the transfer. And I don't mean a little. To format the drive in APFS, you need to open up Disk Utility on the Mac, then go to View and Show All Devices. Click on the root of your USB drive and click Erase. And here, change the scheme to GUID Partition Map, then Format to APFS. Click Erase and wait a few seconds for the partition to complete. You can also choose APFS Encrypted and choose a password if you want to secure the drive. Warning, this will erase whatever you have on the drive and you will no longer be able to read files on this drive from a Windows computer without formatting back to something more compatible. Now with the drive formatted in APFS, let's copy the exact same file over and watch the stopwatch. This time the same 524 meg file copied in 13 seconds. So if you want the fastest USB drive speed when copying files from iPad or iPhone, make sure you format the drive in APFS. Oh, and bonus tip, if you will be connecting a USB drive via Lightning, make sure you get the Apple Lightning to USB 3 adapter. I'll leave a link in the description below. I know it seems expensive, but the third-party adapters on Amazon are crap. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about copying files from iOS to a USB drive, let me know in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you like this video. You can follow me on Twitter at Jerry Schultz for video updates, and I'll see you next time.